guys and um, welcome back to my channel it's Jess and today I have a book review for you all and um, it's a book that I read recently and absolutely loved and that is Friend Request by Laura Marshall I came across this book on Amazon and it was like three pounds which translates about four euro four twenty euro and I'm so happy that I got it I absolutely devoured it I read it in one sitting loved every like I cannot recommend this book enough I've literally already told about six of my friends that they need to read this book um it's a thriller obviously it's really twisty and gripping and like every time I had to even like go to the bathroom or you know do like normal daily things like I was like just powering to get back to this book just so I could read some more of it um, it's definitely a page shown and like I don't want to give too much away but like when the people I taught were involved weren't and I don't want to spoil that and so I'm not going to say more than that but I'm usually pretty good at predicting the endings of these kind of books and I'm like oh yeah that has to do with her, that has to do with him, that has to do with this person. No, did not see any part of this book coming like the end of it was a complete surprise. I was constantly guessing, like, like as the book went on and like things were revealed, I was constantly changing my theory, and I was not right. I wasn't even close to being right. Um, but yeah, it's about a girl called Louise, who gets a friend request from a girl she knows to be dead. Um, she died over twenty five years ago, or so Louise thinks she did. Um. When she gets the friend request on Facebook, she starts to kind of panic because she has kind of been out of the that kind of part of her life, like the friends from back then, from like school days, and she wants to know if anybody else has got on these friend requests. So she reaches out to another girl who she went to school with, and she received the same friend request, and it's all coinciding with a twenty-five year um, school reunion. So, yeah, um, this story, you have two narratives. It's running in present time. Is it present time or 2016? 2016 and 1989. It tells the story, it's all from Louise's perspective. It's told um, from her memory of the dead girl, Maria Weston. It's told from her meeting her and the time they spent together in school. And then it runs alongside then of what's actually currently happening and the creepy things that are going on in um, Louise's life but yes this book is definitely if you like thriller or if you're like looking for a book to get into thriller this is definitely it it's I think it's still on Amazon and it's part of a 3 for 10 deal so you can get it pretty cheap and if not it's still not that dear to buy so if you're looking for a book to um, fill up some time um, this is definitely one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it and I'm going to usually when I read thrillers because when you read a thriller once you kinda have like you can't be surprised twice. If you know the end then you know the end. So with thrillers I usually give them away or donate them. But I'm gonna keep this and loan it out because a couple of my friends want to borrow so I'm gonna let them pass it on between them. Cause it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this book and thank you guys for watching this video i hope i have made you want to read this because you seriously will not regret it and i will talk to you all next time please subscribe and like this video and all my social media is in the link down below thanks bye